Hey, 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 happy day. You are special. In addition to that, it is day 101 of doing one thing every day that makes us happy from the little journal book, Do One Thing Every Day That Makes You Happy. Today is, of course, a sayings day. Almost every day is a sayings day, right? And I need my magnifying glass to tell you what it says, but it's something about living dangerously. And does living dangerously make you happy? trying to think back in my life because I haven't had a very dangerous life and going forward I'm probably not going to have a very dangerous life right I'm a pajama grandma I hang out in my pajamas and I work from home for the most part so how much trouble can I actually get into or how much danger can I actually get into I might break a nail ah, that would be bad and dangerous so our saying today is the secret of reaping the greatest fruitfulness and the greatest enjoyment. So we're looking for fruitfulness and enjoyment today, not fruitiness and misery. We're looking for fruitfulness and enjoyment or happiness. From life is to live dangerously. And this was said by Friedrich Nietzsche. I'm sure he's probably a, a German gentleman, no idea who he is. Anybody knows, share it in the comments below or go ahead and direct message me. So I always would like a little more background, but I'm not going to spend the time and energy looking this up. The whole point of this is just to be happy. The whole exercise, it's not to stress out over who said what and who does what. If it's wise and it speaks to me, then I will pay attention to it. If it makes me feel good, I'll pay attention to it. If it doesn't make me feel good, having to go out and look something up and Google it, that doesn't necessarily serve any purpose for me, knowing who said these amazing things. Now, our challenge today says, how I lived dangerously today. So how can you... Find a way to live dangerously today. What can you do? I just say step out of your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone somehow today. That is enough to actually let you experience the joy and the fruitfulness of doing something dangerous. When we do something different, when we take action, that makes us feel happy and that makes us feel good. Even if it's something like cleaning the bathroom. Now, who wants to clean the bathroom? Nobody. But don't you feel happy when the bathroom is clean? Yes. Now, to me, sometimes cleaning the bathroom would be living dangerously. There you go. That's what I'll do today. I'll clean one of the bathrooms. I never clean the bathrooms. I always have someone else do it. I will live dangerously. I will find the toilet cleaner and a toilet brush, and I will clean the bathroom today. That will be my act of, of danger. And I know I'll feel really good when I do it because I'll have accomplished something I almost never do. So how else will I live dangerously today. Well, I got a couple of projects I'm working on that I will definitely post out there and put out in the world and in the universe. Not that that's really living dangerously. That's living in my own best interest and to help a lot of other people. But maybe it's it's risky or scary for me to, to, to put things out in different places and do different things. And I also wrote that I will be myself. I will be unapologetically me today in every opportunity, every chance I get, I will just be myself today. <clears throat> That's not very dangerous because I do that every day too. So what can you do to live dangerously today? And not like, don't go jumping off, don't go bungee jumping or something or jumping off a bridge. I mean, it doesn't have to be physically dangerous. Maybe it's just emotionally a stretch for you or emotionally dangerous for you. Maybe you're going to, you know, tell somebody that they've been treating you poorly and you're not going to take it anymore. That might be dangerous in the in the aspect that you might lose that relationship or maybe that person will be mean back or change their behavior but you know maybe they'll change their behavior toward you just find a way to stretch your comfort zone and see how good that makes you feel today sit go out make it a happy day we got a bunch of snow yesterday i can't believe it's this far in the year and we got snow april 10th and 11th and we got like a blizzard yesterday so i looked out and it's a beautiful winter wonderland which makes me happy and thankful that I don't have to go anywhere if I don't want to. Although I do need to go somewhere because we need some things around here. That's it. Make it an awesome day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.